Christmas was falling upon Middleton, and everyone was all ready for the holidays. Christmas was only a few days away, so things were getting very busy for everyone. Monkey Fist was driving on his snowmobile. He was only wanting to cause some trouble and mischief before Christmas. There was no doubt that he would be on the naughty list this year, especially after all the naughty stuff he had done this year and before. Everyone that was visiting Middleton happened to be Space Voyager 1701, along with his friends. They had planned to have a Christmas party this year, so Space Voyager had invited Kim Possible and her friends and family over in his spaceship for a Christmas party. When Space parked his spaceship not far from the Possible house, he headed towards the front door of Kim's house. Seeing that the Christmas decorations all lit up for the holidays, when he reached to the front door and knocked on it, as Ron Stoppable answered the door. Merry Christmas, Ron, Space Voyager 1701 said, as Ron invited him inside Kim's house. Merry Christmas, Space Voyager. Come on in, Ron replied, as Space Voyager stepped inside the possible house. Once he stepped inside the house, Jim and Tim were both roughhousing, as m most brothers do, accidentally hitting space in the groin. Ah, my nuts! Space Voyager yelped in pain, grabbing his groin. Space Voyager, are you okay? Ron asked. I am so sorry about that. I'll be fine, Ron. Man, that really hurt. Space Voyager replied, getting up and seeing the rest of the fa possible family in the kitchen. Hey, Kim, Mr. and Mrs. Possible. Space greeted as he walked in the kitchen. Hey, Space Voyager. Merry Christmas, Mr. Possible said. How is your space crew doing? Miss Possible asked. They're doing good, just hanging back in my huge spaceship, Space Voyager replied, sitting down where Kim and Ron were at the dinner table, and they were both doing some Christmas crafts. So glad you could come on by today. So when is this Christmas party at your spaceship? Kim asked. Sometime in a few days. That gives us enough time to get things ready, Space Voyager answered. The Lion Queen and, her, and my friends are all back just getting to the outside of the spaceship, all ready for the party. That's great to hear. We're all invited to which that is very swell, Kim said. This got Rufus to realize that Space mentioned that Kim and Ron were both invited. Thinking that Space didn't even invite the mole rat, it got him to, to think that he wasn't invited. And I'm not invited, right? Rufus stated, crossing his arms and he had an angry look on his face. I didn't say that, Rufus. In fact, you're invited as well, Space Voyager said, making the mole rat smile. Who's coming to this party? Ron asked. Well, let's see. I do have a quite a couple people coming. There's the Lion Queen, Kim, you, Rufus, Draken, Shigo, Zack the Zeltics guy, Patrick Starr, Yori, a couple of my friends, and even some of Kim's cheerleading friends, Space Voyager answered. Wait a second. You're telling me that you invited Yori from the Yamanochi Ninja School? Ron asked in surprise. He didn't expect Space Voyager to invite his friend from Japan. Yeah, Sensei said that Yori has his permission to come to this party. How swell is that, Ron? Space Voyager said. It's very swell. I was going to mail her a gift, but now I can go and hand it to her in person. Ron replied. That reminds me. Tomorrow, Kim and I, along with Rufus... We'll head to the mall for last-minute Christmas shopping. That's where I'd be heading as well. I just hope we don't have to bring Patrick along, Space Voyager sighed in frustration. Just hoping Patrick wouldn't have to come to the mall just to cause trouble or even ask for things. I can look after their Voyager. Uh, that I can look after that, Voyager. Anne and I will make sure that that starfish doesn't cause any trouble in this house, James Possible said. Lifting some stress off of Space Voyager. Thanks, you two. That'd be great, Voyager replied. The next day, there was a day it was snowing. So Kim, went along with Ron, Rufus, Space Voyager, the Lion Queen, and some of the members of the Story Bunch were heading to the mall for their last-minute Christmas shopping. They all took Kim's coupe, as well as Space Voyager's car, to, tend to head to Middleton Mall. While they were at the mall... Monkey Fist was coming out of the snow bank from hiding. Damn it! This snow is just as cold as the time I'm ice cubes went down my shirt. Brrr, Monkey Fist commented, then decided to cause some mischief. 
He had thoughts of spiking Kim and her friends and families their drinks or food with laxatives, but he decided that he has done it before, but only to have it backfire on him. I know what I'll do. I'll sneak into Space Voyager Space Station that landed here. And once I enter, I'll cause some mischief there. <laughs> Monkey Fist smirked, knowing that this was going to be the best plan he's ever pulled yet. As Monkey Fist was heading towards the entrance of Space Voyager's spaceship, only to have the security all around the spaceship, preventing him from entering. Access denied, the, camera, the computer generator said. I called it. I knew that was going to be the case. I wonder if Dr. Draken has high inventions or something to help break in. Monkey Fist wondered for a moment, but then he had an idea. I'll head over to Dr. Draken's lair and see if any inventions of his may help bypass the security. Monkey Fist grinned as he headed off to find Dr. Draken's lair. Meanwhile at Dr. Draken's lair, Shiga was all ready for the holidays as well as Dr. Draken. They had their gifts all ready for the Christmas party at Space Voyager's spaceship. The next day, eh, when Draken was trying to you know, wrap a present for one of his friends, to which it was a basketball, but it only kept rolling away, making him visibly frustrated. Damn it, this basketball keeps getting and rolling away on me, Dr. Draken said, grabbing the basketball that rolled away on him. Draken, wrapping a basketball is impossible without it rolling away, she goes scoffed, looking at him from her laptop. I am just trying to show you now, Shigo, that balls can be wrapped with wrapping paper, Dr. Draken bragged. Yeah, yeah, I like to see you try, Shigo said. I did suggest using a gift bag with tissue paper, if you can't do it. I guess you're just trying to do what Papa Bear did when he was wrapping Brother's gift on his birthday. I get it, Shigo, Dr. Draken said. Then Shigo got up to and head towards the bathroom. While Shigo and Dr. Draken were busy, Monkey Fist had snuck into the lair through Dr. Draken's window, to which he had managed to get it open. But he was surprised by the fact that neither Draken nor Shigo heard him coming in through the window. Then he proceeded to find out where Dr. Draken kept his inventions. Where does Dr. Draken keep those inventions? It can't be too hard to find, can it? Monkey Fist asked himself, while walking down the hallway as he had a few close calls with Dr. Draken chasing after the basketball while trying to wrap it. It was harder than he thought. As Monkey Fist soon entered the kitchen, he found one of Dr. Draken's inventions on the dining room table. Upon a closer look, Monkey Fist saw that it was a bypass security invention to which he looked at it. It happened to be a remote control with a tag saying, To Kim Possible, from Shigo and Dr. Draken. A Christmas present this is. Well, since it's for Kim Possible, I think I'll use it for once. Hey, maybe this can help me get into Space Voyager's spaceship, just to cause some mischief. <laughs> Monkey Fist laughed while grabbing the security bypass remote. Just as he was about to head out, he heard Shigo entering the kitchen, meaning that Monkey Fist would have to hide to avoid being caught. He hid himself under the table, to which it was draped with a Christmas-themed tablecloth. Shigo then put her laptop on the table, when she looked to see something was not right. Huh? Where is that gift we had for Kim Possible to wrap? Shigo questioned. Maybe Dr. D has it, Shigo wondered. Then she felt her stomach grumbling. Good thing it's just hunger and not needing to use the restroom. Let's see what Dr. Draken has for snacking, Shigo added. Then she headed for the fridge to find something to eat. While Shigo was distracted, Monkey Fist quietly crawled from under the table and headed towards the exit of the kitchen. As he was heading towards the exit, however, he then sneezed so loudly that it caught Shigo's attention. She turned her head quickly as she could, seeing that Monkey Fist was in her and Dr. Draken's lair, and his hand was on Kim's Christmas present. Hey, that thing is for Kim Possible for Christmas. It isn't yours, Shigo shouted, scaring the piss out of Monkey Fist. Oh, uh, hi, bitch. I was just borrowing this bypass security remote for something. Monkey Fist grinned. The word that Shigo was called him by really pissed her off. Call me a bitch one more time. I dare you, Shigo growled, with her fists glowing green. Well, sorry for pissing you off, you ugly bitch, Monkey Fist said, running off with the remote in hands. Pissed as she was, Shigo chased after Monkey Fist. 
She ran after him while Monkey Fist was trying to escape from being chased by Shigo. While running outside of Dr. Dragon's lair, he hopped into his snowmobile and with Shigo chasing after him. Meanwhile, at the Middleton Mall, Space Voyager along with his friends, Kim, Ron, and Rufus, were all shopping for Christmas presents. Most of them had luck on buying some pre Christmas presents for their friends. Ron even found some nice stuff for Yori. What did you get for Yori, Ron? Kim asked. Got her like this really nice ninja blanket for her bed. It cost me about 60 bucks, Ron answered. I got the Lion Queen this Halo themed bed sheet, and it was like 75 bucks, Kim said. It was pricey, but it was worth the present. I'm sure she'll love it. I sure hope Yori likes my gifts as well, Ron said. Then Zack the Zeltics guy showed up with his boyfriend Steve in one of the stories that Kim and Ron were in. Hey Zack and Steve, what's up? Ron asked. Nothing much, getting something for Space Voyager as well as some of his friends, Zack replied. I sure hope Patrick is behaving himself. Space Voyager doesn't really want to get Boris to ground him if he were to cause trouble back at home, Kim stated. I'm sure that he's behaving himself. In fact, Space Voyager did say that your mom called and said that Patrick is behaving himself, so we don't have to worry about him causing trouble. Like two years ago, if you remember when he filmed you and Ron going at it, Zack said, dreading the time Patrick had invaded Kim and Ron's privacy on Christmas Eve. That was the last straw on that mansion that I rented for the holidays two years ago. I sure hope he doesn't do that again, Ron replied. Not cool. Rufus had an agreement. Anyways, Steve and I are going to go get a gift or two here. So after that, we can have lunch, Zack suggested. Sounds great. Does talk about sound good? Ron asked. I think we'll stick to the Bueno Nacho in this mall. Taco Bell makes me a bit feel a bit uneasy, Kim replied, remembering the time she got food poisoning from Taco Bell. Yeah, I remember you got food poisoning named there one time, KP. But lunch sounds good. Let's go find the Starry Bunch members, Ron added. Meanwhile in the mall, Space Voyager was in a game store buying a video game that he knew that some of his friends would be into. He bought a first-person shooter games and even some Mario and Sonic games. As he was buying the games, the Lion Queen had entered to look around. This was making Space Voyager quickly hide a game behind his back only worry that she would see have seen the gift that he was getting her. Thankfully, she didn't see what he was getting her for Christmas, which made Space sigh in relief, worried that he was going to get caught for buying a present with someone in the store. After he paid for the games, the Lion Queen had found a game she liked and was going to buy it. After buying the games, Space Voyager walked out of his store with his presents. He then headed for his car outside the mall, only hiding the presents for his friends. I wonder how Shigo and Dr. Draken are doing. I can't wait to see what I got for them, Space Voyager said, as he was exiting out of the mall into the parking lot. While walking there, he opened his car to put the presents inside the trunk. While Space Voyager and his friends were in the mall, Monkey Fist was in his snowmobile, currently being chased by Shigo. Since he was the one who stole Dr. Draken, and Shigo's Christmas present for Kim Possible, Shigo was hunting for Monkey Fist to give it back. Just as Monkey Fist reached Space Voyager's spaceship, not far from Kim's house, he parked his snowmobile outside and looked around. He had to make sure that Shigo wasn't following him, and luckily he didn't see her. Now that I've lost Shigo, I can now get into this Space Voyager spaceship access and cause some mischief in the spaceship. <laughs> this is priceless. Time to put the remote into action, Monkey Fist chuckled. As he headed upstairs towards the front of the Space Voyager's spaceship doors, he also got the bypass security remote ready, so he could try and bypass Space Voyager's security in his spaceship. Just before he could do anything about it, Shigo grabs the remote from Monkey Fist's hands, clearly pissing him off. Since Shigo had snuck up behind him, Monkey Fist thought that he ditched Shigo as well. He should have known better since no one should ever piss Shigo off. There you are, you steal playing this Christmas present for Kimmy, I see, Shigo growled, causing Monkey Fist to turn around. You know better than to steal something from me or Draken. And just what do you think you're doing with this bypass security remote? 
Shigo asked while still pissed off. I was just going to borrow it to get inside Space Voyager's spaceship. Just to pull some Christmas pranks and to cause some mischief, Monkey Fist said, while grinning like an idiot. Nice try, but you know that this is mine and Draken's, and I'm taking it back, Shigo replied. You're lucky that it wasn't Space Voyager that caught you, or you would have been sent into the Wiggles box to teach you a lesson. No, not the Wiggles box. I'm sorry, Shigo. I won't steal it again. I was just borrowing it. Monkey Fist grabbed the hold of the bypass security remote from Shigo's hands, to which it resulted in Shigo grabbing it to have a tug of war with him. No, you're not. No one borrows something that is a Christmas present for them, Shigo growled. The two of them began fighting over the bypass security remote. However, Monkey Fist wasn't the one to give up that easy, and neither was Shigo. Draken, Kim, and Ron, and etc. were also not easy to, to give in. After fighting with the remote, Shigo and Monkey Fist both lost their grip at the remote, causing it to fly into the air. As it was flying into the air, the remote hit a tree, causing the remote to break on impact, depending on how far it was thrown. Shigo then ran towards where the remote had fallen, and when she picked it up, she tried to see if the remote still worked. But no matter how hard she tried, the remote was still no longer working. Now look what you fucking did! This bypass security remote is broken because of you! Shigo growled, with one of her fists glowing green. You are getting this fixed, or I'll send you to the Wiggles box and alert Space Voyager and his friends about this. Monkey Fist was now at the verge of pissing himself, he knew that Shigo was pissed off, but he didn't expect the remote to break while they were fighting over it. I'm sorry, Shigo. I didn't want the remote to break. Honest, Monkey Fist said, while pleading with Shigo to not send him into the Wiggles box. Fine, but if you don't get this fixed by the time Space Voyager's Christmas party starts tomorrow, I will tell Space Voyager about what you did, and then I'll let him decide on what punishment he gives you. Shigo growled, but if you... You, but you started it from stealing this from Draken's lair. I'm surprised that neither me or Draken ever heard you, you get in the lair. Here. I went through the window that was open in the lair, and that's how I got in. And as soon as I headed for the kitchen, I saw this remote and decided to use it to get inside Space Voyager's spaceship. Monkey Fist stated, I was just going to cause some mischief in this spaceship. Mainly because I am on Santa's naughty list, and I wanted to pull some pranks. That excuse is just pathetic, and it's a lame one. Once we get this remote fixed, I am telling Dr. Drakenstill and Space Voyager about this, so no ifs, ands, or buts about it, Shigo said sternly. Alright, you win, Shigo. Let's just go fix this bypass security remote. Maybe Dr. Draken can fix it, Monkey Fist asked. That is not an option, because he'll know that you stole it and broke it as well. And don't think of asking him that. Since after he sees what you did, after I tell him everything, he will most likely get pissed with you for stealing it, just as bad as I did. Shigo stated. Well, then who can we ask to fix this? Maybe Kim Possible's father? Monkey Fist wondered. I wouldn't ask him that either. It will end up pretty much in the same situation on results, like Dr. Draken or Space Voyager finding out that stuff you did. Not only that, you'll get what's coming to you. Shigo said, We could always ask Duff Killigan. He likes it when I pay him a visit before the holidays. He goes to Scotland for the holidays. That's a great idea. Maybe he could fix this remote, Monkey Fist said, as he and Shigo both got on their snowmobiles, and they were both on their way to Duff Killigan's castle. While Shigo and Monkey Fist were on their way to see Duff Killigan, Dr. Draken was still wrapping the basketball that he did plan to give to one of his friends. But since he gave up on wrapping it with wrapping paper, he decided to use a gift bag with tissue paper in it to wrap the basketball. Shigo was right about this. Wrapping a basketball is even harder than I thought. Now I know how Papa Bear felt while he was trying to wrap his son's gift. He must have been frustrated, Dr. Draken said. Finish up wrapping the last of his gifts. All right, all gifts are wrapped up for the party. I almost forgot about the one we have made for Kim Possible. That's right. Shigo? But as Dr. Draken asked for Shigo, he got no response. In fact, Shigo was nowhere to be found in the lobby of his lair. Shigo, where are you? Dr. Draken asked. While looking for Shigo, he also couldn't find the bypass security remote anywhere either. That's odd. First Shigo disappeared, and now the present that we have planned to give to Kim is gone too? 
Something tells me that something is up. It's not like she go to go out without letting me know, Dr. Draken said, now getting a bit confused as to where Shigo and the bypass security remote went. Dr. Draken tried to call Shigo on his cell phone to see if she could pick up, but when he tried to call her twice, there was no answer. This was making Dr. Draken worried about her, so he decided to call Space Voyager and informed him about this as well as his friends, about Shigo gone missing from his lair. They also said they would let him know if they see her, and also to be on the lookout for the bypass security remote for a Christmas present for Kim as well. Meanwhile at Duff Killigan's lair, lair and castle, Duff Killigan was all packed up and ready for his flight to Scotland in the evening. He was just getting his bags at the front door when he heard the doorbell going off. He looked for the peephole, wondering who could that be. Hmm, that's odd. I wonder who could be coming here before the holidays, Killigan asked himself. As he opened the door, he was greeted by Monkey Fist and Shigo. Shigo, my lass, and Monkey Fist, my boy, what brings you here today before the holidays? Hey, Killigan, we kind of need your help if you can, Monkey Fist said, showing him the broken remote. To make a long story short, Monkey Fist stole that gift that Draken and I planned to give to Kimmy. So, we're hoping you could fix this remote? That's if you can, Shigo added. As Monkey Fist placed the remote in Duff Killigan's hands, he took a look at the remote and was confused to what this was. Since he wasn't the best with high tech like Dr. Draken, but he was willing to try and fix whatever he can, even for his friends. What is this remote supposed to be, laddie? Duff questioned. A bypass security remote. He was said he was going to use it to cause some mischief when I stopped him. So after fighting with that for a while, he mainly broke it, Shigo answered. It was supposed to be a present for Kimmy, Shigo added. Can you please fix it? Because Shigo threatened to have me thrown into the Wiggles box if I don't get it fixed, Monkey Fist pleaded. I do have a flight to catch in the evening, but since it's 1 p.m., I guess I could try my best to fix it, Duff Killigan said. It may be an hour or two at most at fixing something like this. Normally, I wouldn't do these things until after I return from Scotland. But if this means saving Monkey Fist from the Wiggles box, I'm willing to fix it. So you could fix it? Monkey Fist asked. I could try my best, so why don't you and your lossy friend go out and do something while I work on this? Maybe in an hour or two, it may be fixed, Duff Killigan replied. Thank you so much, Duff Killigan. Come on, Monkey Fist. Let's go do some stuff while we wait for the bypass security remote to get fixed, Shigo said, dragging Monkey Fist with her to their snowmobiles. Where are we going to go? Monkey Fist questioned. Well, I guess we could go to Gil's Swamp to see what he's doing for Christmas, Shigo suggested, before she and Monkey Fist both headed off to Gil's Swamp. Meanwhile at Kim's house, Kim, along with Ron, Zack the Celtics guy, Steve, Space Voyager 1701, Rufus, and the Lion Queen all arrive back from the mall. Once they hid all their gifts away for wrapping, James and Anne Possible, along with Jim, Tim, and Patrick, were watching Home Alone in the living room. Did Patrick behave himself while we were gone? Kim asked her parents. Well, he did want to order pizza, but we told him later, as we wanted to wait till you guys got back, Anne replied. Well, Dr. Draken called and said that she goes missing, so we're trying to... Find out where she could be, Ron said. Space Voyager and his friends said that I will look find her, and not to mention that a Christmas present from her and Dr. Draken was also stolen. Who could have stolen a gift? James asked. Probably someone who is against them is my guess, Zack answered, then headed for the kitchen along with his friends. So did Dr. Draken try calling her? The Lion Queen asked. He did, but there was no answer when he called her twice. So something is up, but I just don't know what is up, Space Voyager answered. Maybe if we look through the security cameras of my spaceship, there is a possibility that she could have been there. Sounds like a plan. Let's head there, Kim said. While Kim and her friends were heading for Space Voyager's spaceship, they approached the front of it to where there were already footprints in the snow. Not only that, they also saw some snowmobile tracks as well. There's footprints and snowmobile tracks here, so it seems like someone one's been here, the Lion Queen said, as Space Voyager gained access to the spaceship while inviting everyone inside. That is a clue, so that means Shigo must have been here, 
Zack added. A space voyager went in towards the security cameras to see if there was anyone near the entrance of the spaceship. Everyone gathered around near the security cameras, as well as Space Voyager, replayed the security footage during the time they were at the mall, and what displayed next was something they didn't even expect. Everyone saw that Monkey Fist was in one of the snowmobiles, mainly having the remote in his hands. As he walked towards the front of the spaceship, just as he was about to put the remote for the ship, Shigo appeared from behind him to stop whatever he had planned. Monkey Fist was here? And that's Shigo we saw here, so I guess she was trying to stop him or something, Kim wondered. This may be a clue that will lead us to where Shigo and Monkey Fist are, but if Monkey Fist has some mischief planned for us, we better need to stop him. But first we will have to find out where Shigo is, Space Voyager replied. I'll use my mystical monkey powers to talk to Yori. She may have an idea on where we could find Monkey Fist, Ron suggested. We'll need to stop Monkey Fist for, before he starts to cause trouble for us. He sure is going to be sent for the Wiggles box for this, the Lion Queen stated. I'll head for Middleton High, where me and Ron graduated from. Maybe Shigo and Monkey Fist are there, Kim said. I'll head over to the hospital where Anne works. Steve and I will look for Monkey Fist and Shigo there, Zack added. I'll be flying around Middleton I'll keep everyone posted if I find any trace of Shigo and or Monkey Fist, the Lion Queen said, as everyone split up to find Shigo and Monkey Fist. Meanwhile at Gill's Swamp, everyone was frozen, everything was frozen over due to the cold. Gil was wearing a winter coat to keep warm, as well as a hat and gloves. Then he heard, heard a snowmobile in the distance, so he stepped out from his swamp to see what was going on. Who goes there? Gil questioned as Shigo and Monkey Fist got out of their snowmobiles. It's us, Gil. Shigo and Monkey Fist, Shigo called out. Ah, Shigo. It's such a pleasure to see you again. It has been a long time. Hope you and Dr. Draken are doing well, Gil said, shaking Shigo's hand. We're doing fine, thanks. I got you something, though, Shigo said, pulling out a crocodile-skinned leather jacket for Gil. Merry Christmas, Gil. Wow, Gil said, taking the crocodile-skinned leather jacket from Shigo. This is what I've always wanted. It's a great gift. I just feel bad since I don't have anything to give you this Christmas. You don't have to give me anything, Gil. Christmas is more about you know, than just presents. It's about spending time with friends and family that care about you and loved you. Shigo replied, hugging Gil. Thank you, Shigo. It's been rough with me getting gifts. It's just that no one would want to hire a lizard a reptile freak Gil said sadly I hope things get better with ya Merry Christmas Gil hope you love the jacket Monkey Fist said before Gil smiled and then headed back inside his home after visiting Gil Shigo and Monkey Fist headed towards DNA a Amy's house when they arrived there Shigo and Monkey Fist had fun celebrating some Christmas with her baked goods and homemade foods were really yummy to eat it sure even took some stress off of Shigo, knowing that the Bycat Pass security remote was getting fixed by Duff Killigan. After they left Dean Amy's house, Shigo and Monkey Fist headed towards the Go Tower to visit Shigo's brothers. When Shigo and Monkey Fist approached the Go Tower, Higo, along with Migo and the Wego twins, opened the doors and let Shigo and Monkey Fist in. Hello, sis. Surprised to see you here for the holidays, Higo said. Nice to see you boys here before the holidays. How are you doing? Shigo asked. Doing great. We've been practicing our caroling and thought that you may stick around for it. And who is this? Higo asked, pointing at Monkey Fist. That's Monkey Fist. He did something that will put you in the Wiggles box by either me or Space Voyager. It's kind of a long story though, but we're getting this bypass security remote fixed, Shigo answered. Well, that sucks. We do have gifts for you if you want to stay a while. We're also having a mini party for us, Higo said, as Migo placed a homemade pizza on the table. Barney would be sure into this within minutes. Homemade pizza is swell, Shigo replied, as she, along with Monkey Fist, had some pizza. Merry Christmas, Shigo, said the Wego twins, as he, along with Higo and Migo, gave Shigo some gifts for Christmas. Shigo got the Silent Night Deadly Night movies on DVD by Migo. 
And she also got a new winter jacket from the Wego twins. And Higo got some nice black makeup for her. Thanks, boys. These gifts are amazing, Shigo replied, examining the gifts. Thanks for the $50 gift cards to Walmart, sis. That was awesome gifts for us, Higo said. You got them all in the mail? Shigo questioned. I was wondering if you got them in the mail. We sure did, and we both got Minecraft stuff, he, the Wego twins said. I also got some Fortnite stuff myself, Migo added. And I also got some Halo stuff, including the Master Chief collection for the Xbox One, Higo also added. Nice gifts you all got. Glad you loved the gifts I sent, Shigo replied. Do you think this bypass security remote is getting fixed? Monkey Fist asked. I'm not sure. I can call when we're done here, Shigo replied. And now, sis, we have a Christmas caroling we bros will do, Higo announced, getting his brothers to play the music to start as they started singing. <laughs>